In a small town surrounded by tall mountains and green forests lived a young boy named Luca. Luca loved to paint. His room was filled with colorful paints, brushes, and blank canvases. Every day after school, he would sit at his desk and paint whatever came to his mind. From radiant sunsets to fantastical worlds with floating islands, his paintings were full of life and imagination. One day, while browsing in a small antique shop, Luca discovered an old, dusty brush. It was made of shiny wood with soft bristles. The shopkeeper, an elderly man with a kind voice, said, This is a very special brush, young man. It has magical powers. With it, you can paint anything you can imagine. Luca could hardly believe his luck and bought the brush immediately. When he got home, he sat at his desk, took out a blank sheet of paper, and dipped the brush into paint. I want to paint an adventure, he whispered softly. As soon as he made the first stroke, the picture before his eyes came to life. A path wound its way through dense forests, past glistening streams and majestic mountains. Luca was mesmerized. He delved deeper into his painting and could smell the fresh mountain air, hear the wind in the trees, and feel the warmth of the sun on his skin. Suddenly, he heard a soft voice. Hello, I'm Aria, said a little girl with golden curls stepping out of the painting. You summoned me. Luca could hardly contain his excitement. He had actually created a character. Aria told him about the mysterious world he had created with his brush and invited him to explore it. Filled with excitement, Luca and Aria leaped from rock to rock, bathed in clear rivers, and discovered hidden caves. Every brushstroke turned into a new adventure, and Luca learned that the power of imagination was limitless. After a day filled with adventures, they returned to the painting and Luca painted a small village square where a festival was taking place. Colorful lanterns adorned the streets, and people danced joyfully. Arya beamed with happiness. This is beautiful, Luca. You've brought this world to life. <laughs> the next morning, Luca woke up to find the painting on the wall had changed. It now depicted the village square he had painted, with a sign in the center that read, Luca's place of fantasy. Luca smiled. He knew that his imagination and his magical brush could not only bring joy to himself, but also to others. From that day on, he invited his friends to join him in the world of his paintings. They experienced adventures, laughed, and learned that imagination knows no bounds. And so ends the story of Luca and his magical brush, which showed him that the greatest adventures begin in our minds. It was a reminder that we all have the power to create our own world of fantasy and bring joy to others. If you enjoyed this story, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you can look forward to new stories every week.